Okay, we have Bryce, and he wants to go straight to questions. We'll start here on the front row to your left. Hi, Bryce. AP Stedham, WHEP, Foley, Alabama. Say, Bryce, what are some of the films you're watching this summer to get prepared for the season? And do you, have, do you like movies? Do you like to watch movies as well? Uh, yeah, I'm more of a show guy, if I'm being honest. Uh, movies? I, I don't know. What's the? I'm trying to think of the last movie I watched. It was probably like I watched Home, like it was some Disney like animated. Movie. Those I feel like those are the only movies I really like. I really watch. I watch like more shows. What films to get ready for the season? Films to get ready for the season? Um, anything like that. I'm not a big. If I'm gonna, I'm very like if it's football related. Like obviously, there's a lot of time that I spend and dedicate to to being in the facility, learn, you know, talking to guys, um, watching film and studying, but. Um, if I'm not doing that, then I'm doing something completely different. Uh, it's watching stuff that doesn't have anything to do with football. I'll detach when I, I'm not there. So probably nothing too football related if it's movie wise. To your right, second row. Good morning, Bryce. DJ Jones with Sports Division of Columbus, Georgia. As the Heisman Trophy winner, best college football player in America, how do you get better on the field uh, as far as, uh, again, when you, I know you've been to the Manning camp. I don't know if you have a quarterback coach, but again, to get better? Yeah, um, you know, winning the Heisman is obviously a huge honor, uh, means a lot. Um, but also I understand that that doesn't entitle me to anything. Um, really it's a award that celebrates one season that I had in the past, which is again an honor, but it doesn't mean anything towards me moving forward. It doesn't have any, you know, it doesn't entitle me to anything. Um, so because of that, I, I don't feel like um, I'm where I need to be. I don't feel like I'm a finished product by any means. There's a lot of stuff that I want to keep getting better at. So um, I don't think it I don't think it prohibits me at all. Um, the way I look at it, again, it's an award that celebrates the past, which is an honor, but it doesn't entitle any, me anything to the future. So I don't feel like I'm, I'm complete. I don't feel like there's, not, there's there's definitely stuff for me to work on as a visual, stuff for us as a team to get better at. Um, so I'm working day in and day out to try to improve myself. To your left, second row. Hey, Bryce, uh, Jacques Doucet, WAFB-TV in Baton Rouge. Um, last year's LSU game was a lot closer than people anticipated down the wire. Um, just your thoughts on that and going to Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge this year. Yeah, well, LSU is obviously such a story program, has such a great history, um, you know, such a great program where, you know, maybe people on the outside may expect one thing, but, you know, we know whenever we're playing LSU, it's going to be a dogfight. Um, we know what to expect, so we have a tremendous amount of respect for them. And, um, you know, we... For us, you know, obviously, you're always going to look back at it and you're going to see things you can improve on and things to get better on. But, you know, we're happy to, to, to come out with a, with a win. You know, for us, again, whenever we play a program like LSU, you know, the goal at the end of the day is to just win. And we have a lot of respect for them. And, you know, we knew it was going to be tight. We knew it was tough. It definitely was. And, you know, this year, like you said, we're going to, to Tiger Stadium. We're going there. And we know how hostile of an environment that is. We know what to expect. It, again, it's going to be another another tough game. We're going to need everything. Um, you know, right now, we're about to start camp, so we're just taking it week by week. Right now, we're focusing on just getting better. Um, and then, you know, we start game planning. We start game planning. But, again, when, when it's a program like LSU, we always know it's going to be tough. To your right, front row. Hi, Bryce. I'm Dick Cox with Cox Sports Broadcasting and Lindy Sports. I learned earlier today from Coach Saban that the thing he wants people to most know about him is he's good at sweeping, he's good at following instructions that his wife leaves for him to do, and he's good at housework. Okay, you've got the Heisman Trophy, a lot of people know that, but what would be the most important thing you would want people to actually know about you? <laughs> um, most important thing, I just say that I'm a man of faith. Um, I feel like that's most important in my life. That's what guides my actions what guides me to be the person that I am and I'm, I'm trying to become. So I'd say just, just being a man of faith and being a believer is probably what I want people to know most about me. Fourth row and then pass the microphone to your other side. Go ahead. Hey, Bryce. Georgia Chambers, WFF 48 in Huntsville. Can you kind of touch on the type of player Kendolf Randolph Kendall Randolph is and the type of leader he is on the offensive line? Dolph, man, that's my guy, um, a great guy. Um, you know, he, he's been, you know, he's been with us for a while. So obviously a, a great leader. He's someone who has a lot of, a lot of perspective, always knows what to do, always know where to, where's to be, always knows where to be, um, you know, and someone who works super hard. Um, that's someone that I'm really cool with. Um, again, I'm, um, he, he definitely doesn't, hasn't gotten the recognition that I feel like he deserves, but he's definitely instrumental in us. He's been a big part of the offense for the past couple of years. 
And, you know, now obviously he's looking to take that next step, and he's definitely going to be big for us on the field and, and off the field as a leader. So um, I'm glad you brought him up because, um, uh, yeah, Kendall, he's, he's, he's really instrumental for us. Okay, go ahead. Fourth Hi, row. Bryce. WSFA, Rosie Langello. Uh, speaking of the O-line, what progress have you seen from them in the spring and the summer? Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to, to watch them and to see this process. I feel like they've grown a lot, you know. We have, you know, all of our, our three interior guys, uh, Jay Boyd, Darian E coming back, and then Seth coming back, who obviously got a lot of snaps. And then, you know, we have some some guys stepping up with JC um, stepping up and, and, and starting to play. And then same thing with, with Dolph, and then now we, with Tyler coming in from, from Vanderbilt. But I really feel like it's just the um, – I, I think they've – all been really focused. Um, those guys just coming back with more experience. The, the younger guys getting a lot more comfortable, and you know it feels like you know we have a really good um, change of attitude and direction. Um, Coach Wolf coming in really has helped us. Um, he's helped a lot. He's meant a lot to, to us. He's he shored up some things in protection from a schematic standpoint, and I feel like he's done a really good job with with those guys up front. So I'm super excited. I have all the confidence in the world, and and my big guys up front. So I'm excited for the year. Bryce, to your right, standing up in the back. Hey, Bryce, Zach Klein with uh, Channel 2 here in Atlanta. The mindset and attitude coming off a championship in the offseason compared to one coming up short. I'm just curious what, you know, Georgia might be going through this offseason. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I can just speak from our perspective, knowing that coming up short, obviously, is it, really tough. Um, you know, it's something that, you know, it stings a lot. It obviously was really, you know, it hurt a lot losing and then, um, it's something that we carry as fuel to the fire this offseason. So it's something that has been fueling us, something that's been pushing us. And, um, you know, it, we no one wants to feel what we felt last year. So we're doing all everything in our power to give ourselves the best chance to, you know, have the circumstances that, that we want to have. To your left, second row. Hey, uh, Bryce. Obviously, um, Steve, I don't know, Richardson, orangebloods.com. Uh, obviously, Steve Sarkeesian recruited you uh, to Alabama. I wanted to do, maybe you can tell us about your relationship with Coach Sark during his time there and maybe your excitement to play uh, Texas on the road this year. Yeah, um, Coach Sark has been, he was really instrumental in me going to Alabama. He was my, uh, he's who recruited me there, um, a big reason why I, I, I started looking at Alabama. So, um, you know, I have nothing but love for Coach Sark. And the, the year that I was there and being coached by him, I learned a, a lot. Um, I was able to grow and learn a lot underneath him. So, um, again, right now it's it's just about we're about to start camp. So it's just you know competing with ourselves day in and day out, and then we take everything week by week when the season starts. But um, with that being said, I, I definitely have a lot of love for Sark. I'm I'm, I'm super excited, and um, yeah, again for us it's week by week. But you know I'm, I have a lot of love for Sark. To your right, third row. Tyler Shaw with KBTX and College Station. Bryce, when you look back at you know last year's a and game, is there going to be any more fuel to the fire when you guys take the field uh, this year? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like just the beauty about playing in the SEC, playing the schedule we do is, you know, you know week by week anything can happen. And, and, and you know, you have to take everything, you know, week by week. And, you know, obviously last year, um, you know, that was tough for us um, and, you know, it was, it's something that, you know, we were able to look back at and, and, and try to learn from and try to turn into something constructive. Uh, but obviously, any time you lose it, it obviously hurts. And um, we have a tremendous amount of respect for a &M, for the program, for the coaches, for everyone there. Um, but, you know, at the same time, we have to take things week by week. So, um, you know, right now we're in, about to start training camp, so it's going to be that portion of, of camp. And then... We know when that time rolls around, we, we know how, how, how good they are. We know what they can bring. Um, so it's going to take everything for us to try to have the outcome we want. Um, but we're taking it week by week. So when that week comes up, um, you know, we're going to be you know, excited for the challenge that they present to us. Final two questions. First is here on the front row. Hey, Bryce. Steve Moulton, WZZN out of Huntsville. I asked you last year about talking to Mac Jones and what kind of advice he was giving you. And you told me you wouldn't tell me what he gave you as advice. So what kind of mentor? Has Mac been to you? And finally, your shoes, even though we can't see him, <laughs> I'm guessing you didn't pull those off the rack. Um, well, as far as Mac, um, you know, learning under Mac, it's been a lot. Um, it's been extremely helpful. Um, being able to just observe and be around him my freshman year, him being kind of my intro to, to college football, just seeing the process he had, seeing how he carried himself, 
um, seeing his approach towards the game, seeing how smart he was, how quickly he was able to process. That was really big for me. And then, you know, as far as being a mentor, him being open and him being able to talk to me. Whenever I had a question, he'd always be there to, to answer. He was always sharing his process uh, because he wanted me to be successful after him, which I, I genuinely appreciate. Um, it, it definitely means a lot. So he's definitely meant a lot for me. He's been really, you know, just being able to watch him and, and still now, even whenever, if I have a question, I want to text him. He'll still always respond. Um, he'll still he'll still text a check up on me. So that that means a lot to me. Um, and as far as the shoes go, um, I low key did kind of get him out out the rack. Like I got him from there. Um, I got him from a kind of like a, I guess a high end store. But um, no, they're not custom. Nothing crazy. Um, but uh, thank you for noticing. I do appreciate it. <laughs> Wish we had time more, but our final question right here. Richard Johnson, SEC Network. Uh, obviously, I know they're not allowed to hit you in practice, but in a scrimmage, what is it like to face a pass rush from either Dallas or Will? Uh, and have they, you know, have they sometimes taken a step too far and gotten you on the ground every now and then? Um, yeah, I think, you know, for everyone, going against the best in Will and Dallas, um, you know, that really prepares us, us all as offense. Um, those guys are obviously tremendous players. And going, being able to compete against them day in and day out is what gets us all better. Um, those guys are, are fierce competitors. We go at it uh, back and forth throughout camp, throughout practice. Um, so I feel like that's extremely beneficial for me, um, knowing what I can and can't do versus elite pass rushers, um, you know, kind of trying to figure out the timing um, when stuff like that's going on. And then obviously it gets our whole line um, better. Those guys, especially at, at the tackle positions, they go after it. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's the best on the best. So just being able to be a part of that, um, it definitely gets us all better, gets me better. And um, I think Will might have a story about, about that. But um, it, it, it happens, you know, when, when they're trying to give their all to get, back, to get past tackles and, and chips from the back and whatever, and they're trying to get to me, and then you have to try to pull up last minute. It's hard. So I, we're, we're all close. I know it's all love. Um, and, you know, it's never been anything, any, any hard feelings. I know stuff like that isn't intentional. But, you know, we're competing and we're going back and forth. So, um, you know, sometimes there's a little incidental contact, but that's just football. Bryce, thank you very much. Very thank good. you.